With over 200 million unique viewers annually, NFL telecasts are credited with 23 of the top 25 most viewed programs of all time. So whether it just be backyard pickup games or competitive high school playoff sports or family tradition spent together on Thanksgiving watching the sport, many of us consider football an American pastime. Since its origins, however, the game has shifted in almost every way possible, varying from the players to the equipment used to the technology involved to the rules and regulations and even to the market that is targeted. The first game of football was recorded in 1869, and that was a game of Rutgers versus Princeton. Since then, the sport has developed into the most popular sport in America, which came in the late 1960s, where it has sat since then. So with that being said, let's see how far of a shift has been made. In the first Super Bowl, the average lineman was recorded in at 255.7 pounds. That can be compared to last year's Super Bowl 50, in which the average player was over 313 pounds. We also can see that the NFL has acquired many more players. In 1966, there was only 15 teams present, compared to now there's over 32 teams in the league. So we see a clear shift in the players involved, going from blue-collar players who always had an extra set of jobs compared to well-trained athletes that are nearly bred for the sport. At the time, this made it really impossible to acquire good talent on the team because everybody had more priorities, like such as putting food on their table. In addition to the players, we also see a huge change in equipment being used. These are some of the examples of the earlier helmets. Um, in that first Rutgers versus Princeton game mentioned, helmets were not required, so there was no helmet seen on the field. The first helmets developed were leather, and as you can see, they were not exactly the best equipment. In addition to that, shoulder pads were not introduced into the game until the 1920s, and the first shoulder pad used were actually sewn into the jerseys rather than being a separate piece of equipment. That Rutgers versus Princeton game also had a round ball used compared to the ball that we're all used to today. We also see a change in high, heavy boots to different companies competing to make lightweight cleats, and we also did not see the first face mask developed until 1953, which was a plastic prototype. In addition to the different equipment being used, we also see a huge shift in technology of the game. Instant replays have made a major difference in the game because better cameras used have acquired the ability to challenge plays using instant replays. We also see the introduction of referees having wireless mics to help make the game more pleasurable for people in the stands. Um, and the construction of massive stadiums being built, such as 2011, we have Dallas's famous screen being built, 72 by 160 feet. And then in 2014, Jacksonville Jaguars tried to top them by building two screens in their stadium, both 62 by 362 feet. Also, early technology of the game, in the early rules of the game, players were not allowed to communicate with the sidelines, period. That can be compared today in which every single quarterback has got a helmet-equipped radio receiver to talk to their coaches. Aside from the changes mentioned, we also see a huge swap in the rules and regulations of the game. In 1974, the kickoff was moved from the 40 to the 35-yard line to promote running the ball back. In 1994, they moved it back again to the 30-yard line, even more so. But in recent years, with all the changes in concussion rules, in 2011, the NFL moved it back to the 35-yard line. In the original rules of the game, the quarterback could not throw the ball unless he was at least five yards behind the line of scrimmage, which is drastically different from today. Also, the team will be penalized if they completed more than one pass per set of downs. That differs highly from today's highly passing game. The biggest change that we see in the league, however, has definitely come acquired through the market. As mentioned, the early years of the game were all blue-collar sports players for fun. Compared to now, Television rights the NFL are the most expensive entertainment property in America, period. This can be seen with the average Super Bowl commercial last year, a 30, once 30 second Super Bowl commercial, costing over $4.5 million. According to CNN New York, 2015 NFL sales reached over $13 billion, producing over a billion dollars in revenue. This differs greatly from the first ever paid recorded athlete, William Purge Huffelfinger, who was paid $500 to play for Allegheny Athletic Association in 1892. That differs greatly from today, which the average pay of 
a player in the league is two point one million dollars annually, with some players signing upwards of ten twenty million dollar contracts. This is also a difference greatly. In 1939, NBC would send two cameras to, ever, to record every game along with eight staff members. Today, the company sends over 20 cameras to every single game with over 200 members of staff on. As can be seen by the shift in the players, equipment, technology, rules, and the market targeted, it's clear that the game has come far further than we give it credit for. One thing, however, the league can't take from us is the amount of fun that we all share through this great sport.